Hello everyone, this is Joe Snuffy. I recently started designing and building uh, panels for the Aerosoft A318 through A321 uh, airplanes for FSX. Uh, I found very little information on how to find the LVARs or that weren't, it wasn't very self-explanatory I should say. Um, did a lot of research. Um, hopefully this video will help some uh, other beginners like myself find these that information a little bit easier. I'm just worried about this panel. Okay, so I'm about to start looking for some of these uh, LVARs for these buttons for localizer, AP1, AP2, uh, auto throttle, and approach. Uh, have all of this already, like I said, speed mock metric button down here on this in this thing right here. That's it. It's just a quick toggle. All right, so I'm going to get this up out of the way for now. Uh, this is the way I work with it. Get the Linda rolling. If you don't know, you get into uh, main uh, settings here. Uh, if you you know if you're in this screen, you need to go over to uh, set up Linda, developer mode, then click Linda tracer, and that gets us this screen and that screen up right there. Uh, so that's where we're at. Um, so I was looking for me metric. I find that it's the only way for me to do this without it running because there's a whole bunch of stuff running and it bogs things down. Make sure I got this on show. Make sure I got that uh, something in there. So let's look at the localizer. I'm going to just type in loc here, L-O-C. We'll see what we can do because that should be something. Uh, I'm going to get stop all, stop all, stop all. Nothing's there. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do, we're going to type loc in here and see what that does. It's giving me clock and a whole bunch of other stuff. Let's see. Uh, well, that's might have to need it. But those are the ones. So I'm going to just hit start all. But send all it sends all of those over to here. Uh, and then only the things that have the words loc in it are going to show up. Hit resume. Uh, I'm going to hit this FSX controls. Nothing else going on. Nothing else coming on here. All right. So obviously, whatever rotational velocity, I don't think I need that to be scrolling all the time. So I'm going to just go down here and get rid of that. No P, Q, R, this thing. We'll just stop that one. Nothing else seems to be going, right? All right, so all I want to do is I'm going to hit this button and see what happens. That resets. If I right click it, it goes off. If I click it, it goes off. I know if I hit approach, it should go away. Ah, that's approach AP lock localizer two. Ah, interesting. I see. That says that. Ah, see, look at that. We found two. We found the approach button, and we found the localizer. All right, we're good. Look at that. I found two buttons. Real quickly here, uh, we, once we found all that information, we're going to take down some notes, put them in our text file, uh, make sure we know what exactly uh, we found earlier and uh, can reference it later. And then uh, back to the program. All right, so next thing I'm planning on doing is I'm just going to look at this. So I know that this button doesn't do anything, so I'm not even going to worry about it. Uh, we need to auto throttle. So, and obviously that sends off a freaking ding. Um, so we'll come over here. We'll uh, stop all. It gets rid of everything. Uh, what do we want to do? Throttle. Let's go with THR. Should be auto throttle. There's like some auto throttle start. No, that's start all. We got a big, it's not that big of a list. Uh, so what do we type in there? Throttle. We're going to try THR. And we're going to tell it to log. And it's going to start doing things. All right. We got some stuff that are happening. Probably because the auto throttle is doing things. I'm really just looking for this button. All right, it finally stopped taking care of it. So if I hit the button, nothing happened. Oh, it stopped logging. All right, right here, I'm just uh, fast-forwarding through most of this section. There's a bunch of me humming and hawing and and trying to find things that are running or or. LVARs that are popping up that are nothing to do with what I'm actually trying to uh, find as far as the button is concerned. Um, so, you know, just sit back patiently. You can see it, um, you know, you'll, you'll at least get the flow of how I'm finding stuff or what I can see that's not working well. 
uh, you know, there are a bunch of numbers that I can't use that are things that are firing when I press a button that based on whatever is happening with the simulator. So uh, basically, like I said, I just fast forward through all this section while I try to get rid of the information that is not useful to me, or at least I don't think is useful to me at this point in time, but more than likely is not useful to me. Uh, I'm looking for just buttons and switches right now. So it's going to be, you know, an on and off. That's that's all I'm looking for. Um, so hopefully uh, during this part, uh, you can figure out by looking at it uh, without listening to all the silly things I was saying. Um, I think right here you might find me uh, actually talking. To, this would be me talking to myself about, uh, okay, these buttons or these are the ones that are turning on or turning off. Uh, but shortly after this, we'll be, uh, we'll be out of this in no time. And once again, we're going to take some notes on uh, what we figure the uh, auto throttle button uh, or what triggers the auto throttle button. Uh, so uh, eh, we're almost done. All right. That doesn't turn it off. Don't know what does, but okay. So we'll go with those. There's position history, throttle history. We're okay. So the next thing we need to do is we need to look for it. We can pause this and we'll come over here because, yeah, that's pretty much what I'm going to go with. There's other stuff over here history, those things, but that's more than likely it. We'll try it. If that doesn't work, I'll come back and look at some of this other stuff, but. I'm fairly certain that this is going to be it for this test here. All right, so let's go on to the next one, which is really only the autopilot. So we got autopilot one. Uh, start all. And then I want autopilot two because that's other autopilot two. Start all. Does it give them, uh, it's not letting me have all of them. Wow, it will only let me do one or the other, really? All right, let's go like this. Where are we at? What do they look like? Uh, AP2. Let's go with underscore AP. Underscore AP is what we're going to look for. I'm going to start all of those. That's a lot of them. I can go AP1, and then I can go AP2, I think. We will find out here in a second, won't we? Uh, leave that over there so I can get to it. That can stay there. Need this on top. Log low events resume. Hop that down. All right, autopilot. All right, so we obviously, that's obviously it. Let me see. Autopilot 2 goes to 1. Oh, look at that. There we go. It's that simple. You see how easily that it went? That This is going way easier than anything else I ever looked for. Now if I hit this, now I can hit both of them and so they both should say one. Oh yeah, that, that absolutely makes sense. Get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. Everything is working. So those are all those buttons. We just found those out and that was a lot quicker and easier than I ever thought it was going to be. Uh, but you can see how you can put in different things in here so that you only see the ones that say AP1, AP2. I'm pretty sure that's what I needed to find. Um, there's a whole bunch of other stuff on there. AP start. I mean, a lot of these things are probably for other things. APU, I didn't need. I know it because I already figured that stuff out before. Um, so now I've def I identified all of these buttons except for that thing, which doesn't do anything no matter what I do. Um, I got to figure out how to read this stuff as blanks and stuff like that. But I think I put notes in there that I think I got it. But I, so I can get this number, that number, this number, that number. I can do plus. So I, I think the way I'm looking at doing this is this is going to be, these are going to be push buttons. These are going to be just uh, encoders. These will be uh, on off, you know, basically push buttons that are not locking because they need to 
be able to turn off if something else makes them turn off. I'm not sure what makes this one turn off, but I think there is something. Um, in any case, so these are all just going to be regular push buttons, and then I'll put a green light over top of all of them, and that should be good. Now, for the push pull here, I'm thinking I might do a, a switch that's, you know, spring back to the middle, click it up for push and push down for, and so each one of these things will have a little switch next to it, so we'll see if I, if I need to do that. Um, I'll figure something out, because I do need to be able to push pull. Um, that'll be the that'll be the next thing to worry about but that's when I come down to designing it now that I know all the things that go all right so let's get this right so I'm just gonna you know I'm gonna do this basically oh gotta hit pause so I'm gonna record this whole thing and this will be uh, self-explanatory for the autopilot. Once again we're going to take notes about uh, what we found and put them down in our text file uh, for later reference when we uh, get to it. And believe me I've been using <laughs> these text files uh, a ton back and forth. Here you can see a picture of my uh, panel pretty much put together uh, with all the button switches and knobs uh, where they're supposed to be. Uh, I got a couple of other things to add but uh, hopefully soon you'll see some videos of uh, this thing functioning. Uh, I hope all of this was helpful. Uh, thank you all for watching. Have a good day.